talk about corridor analysis. Um, it's kind of an underrated thing uh, nowadays. Um, I work for the Intel Corporation, and so most of my examples will be done in x86, but you can actually uh, use this on ARM and other architectures as well. All right, so if you guys want to follow along, you can uh, use your laptop, your Linux laptop, and uh, you'll need a couple of tools. Um, Bin utilities uh, with Opticom, Redelf, and uh, NM, GPD, and GCC. Um, I'll be going through all these examples live, so if you don't have a laptop, then you can follow along. And um, the presentation is located here at this uh, Google address, so you can download it in the PDF format. It's uh, GO.GL and then capital and then slash capital O and then lowercase C Y R K. Okay, so what is the core? The core is basically an archaic name for memory. Uh, that, uh, basically, in the back in the old days, uh, magnetic core memory was an early form of random access memory. And the term core comes from the convention that um, transformers were. The basic conventional transformers are these windings surrounding the magnetic core. And, right, and nowadays, of course, uh, 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 core, a magnetic core memory is uh, superseded by a uh, semiconductor memory. And um, it's not really to be mixed up with uh, the new term core, which is for like um, processors. So if you have a multi core system, we're talking about processors. But back in the old days, core is really meant memory. And what's the core down? This is a core dump with the core state of working memory of a processing. Um, process state is also stored in there. And um, it's stored in a binary format. Um, and Linux is typically stored in ELF. Back in the old days, it was stored in ADA. And uh, in Mac OS X, you can get core dumps in macho format. Well, why should you care? Well, uh, core dumps are cross architecture and cross platform. So you can actually use these on other operating systems as well. So just like I said, Mac OS X is an example. AIX, you can use core dumps in HPUX uh, and, older, uh, and other systems. So if you learn how to use core dumps on one system, you can actually take those techniques and use them to debug other systems as well. Um, core dumps are really good for getting folks more information from uh, core dumps to a file and then um, have that emailed. Automatically. So if you notice, sometimes in, 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 uh, in your Ruby environment, your application crashes, and all of a sudden it says, "Okay, you're, I detected that the application crash," and then so forth. It it is most likely using core pattern to detect when that happens and send an IPC. So core so you can also do uh, live core dumps uh, using this program called GCore. It's actually a script that uses GDB. Um, so uh, we generate an example. So I'll take my simple work program and I'll just make it instead of boarding, I'll just do a if then. So it, it's not aborting, it it's still running. So if I do PS, uh, it's PS. It's still there, it's not gone. Um, and if I run G core, and then, um, I think this is process ID, um, it will generate a core dump without killing the program. So let's say you wanted to get, you wanted to examine the contents of your program uh, while it's running. Let's say your program's not running correctly and you're not, you know, you, you, you didn't initialize, you're not in the GDB section or whatever, you just wanted to get a, 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 a snapshot of that. Of all memory in the program, you can use uh, GCore to do that. So that's a useful tool. And uh, okay. Okay, that's about it. So any, any final questions? All right, thank you.